Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. In this video, I'm going to compare the Eagle Warriors of the three American civilizations, Aztecs, Mayans, and Incas, to see which one is best, or at least in which situations each one excels. Now I have looked at them all as part of their respective Civ overviews, but the point of this video is to compare all of them at one time against some of the different types of units, and rank them against each other. Let's check it out. Now to start with, one thing that makes the comparison relatively straightforward, compared to say battle elephants for example, is that the cost and speed is the same for all eagle warriors. They also have access to the same generic infantry technologies, and are identical through feudal and castle age. The only difference between them is that each American civilization has a different imperial age unique tech, that somehow modifies their eagle warrior stats. Those techs all cost 1200 resources as a combination of food and gold, so it's about as close to equal as you'll get in this sort of comparison. The Mayans El Dorado gives their Eagle Warriors plus 40 HP, on top of the Elite Eagle Warriors normal 60 HP. The resulting 100 HP ties them for the most of any infantry unit. On the other hand, the Aztecs Garland Wars gives all of their infantry plus 4 attack, including Eagle Warriors. Now, Eagle Warriors aren't exactly known for high attack, and are really only ahead of the pikemen line to start with. But plus 4 is a big jump, and puts their attack around that of a normal champion, or infantry unique unit. The last is the Incas, with their unique tech couriers. A while back this used to increase their speed by plus 10%, but was switched in favor of giving Kamiaks, Slingers, and Eagles plus 1 melee armor and plus 2 pierce armor. The pierce armor of Eagle Warriors is already quite good, starting at 4, and potentially being increased by another 4 through the Blacksmith. An additional 2 from Couriers puts them at a total of 10, which is the same as an Elite Huskarl. We'll see what that does against Archers and defensive buildings a bit later. Now the comparison between them is going to be done in a few phases. Part 1 of the test is going to be a straightforward head-to-head -head matchup with each other. That gives us a quick estimate of their relative strength in melee fights, but is definitely not the only metric we'll look at. In doing a round robin, well, I guess a round eagle in this case, here are the results. Basically Mayans consistently beat Aztecs, and Aztecs beat Incas, with Incas losing especially bad to Mayans. That might be a bit surprising as Incas have the best win rate of the group online, yet their eagle warriors already seem to be the worst in melee. Now that being said, a simple rumble in the jungle between eagle warriors may not tell the whole story. After all, you don't make eagle warriors just to fight other eagle warriors. In part 2 of the test, let's see how they compare when it comes to raiding. They're the closest thing American civilizations have to cavalry, and in that role Aztecs arguably perform the best, since their eagle warriors take out villagers in 3 hits, as opposed to 4. That might not sound like much, but in a test group of 8 villagers, that means Mayans and Incas take about 23% longer than Aztecs to clear the area. That extra time means the other player is more likely to realize what's happening and garrison villagers, build walls, or send reinforcements. But while Aztecs can clear an area of villagers faster, Mayans and Incas are significantly better at holding up against defensive buildings, like town centers, towers, and castles. Mayans and Incas might take longer to kill villagers, but the extra HP and pierce armor means they give better value than Aztecs when defensive structures are around. Against towers for example, they take the fewest number of shots, while Mayans take the most, and it's the same thing against castles. As another example, when attacking a fully garrisoned and upgraded town center with 10 elite eagles, Aztecs extra attack lets them take down the town center a bit faster, but their lower HP means they really end up with about the same amount of strength left over as Mayans in that situation. In this case, the Incas extra armor doesn't help at all, since town centers already do 1 damage to all elite eagle warriors. They take the longest and end with the least HP, so against town centers, Incas are noticeably worse than the other two. Overall, in terms of their raiding potential, I'd give a slight edge to Aztecs in terms of surprise ability, and they're good for things like a fast Imperial and then making a quick swarm of eagles to target a player's town center, 
Whereas Mayans do better in post-imperial, where there are a lot of towers or castles around, and you want a raiding unit that'll survive a bit longer. Incas can use their eagles to raid, but end up not standing out quite as much as the other two. Moving on to part 3, we'll now take a look at how they do against a variety of units in open field combat. Incas haven't done very well so far, but it turns out they do have a specialty. Their plus 2 pierce armor means that arbalests do 1 damage to them, as opposed to 2 damage to Aztec and Mayan elite eagle warriors. The Mayans' extra HP makes them significantly better than Aztecs, taking 50 hits instead of 30, but Incas survive the longest, taking 60 shots. On the other hand, after uncaging the eagles, we can see that Aztecs take out arbalests in 3 hits, as opposed to the other eagles' 4. That means at close range, Aztecs will do better than you'd think, but overall Incas will still do the best against most archers. I say most because an archer that does less than 10 damage, like a skirmisher or genitour, or more than 13 damage, like a rambai, conquistadors, slingers, and hand cannoneers, will actually take the longest to kill a Mayan eagle warrior. Most archer variations have between 10 and 12 attack though, in which case the numbers work out so that Incas perform the best. A fun fact is this is the only scenario in which the Incas perform best during the entire video. But moving on, what about the eagle's deadliest counter, the champion? They have 8 bonus damage against eagle warriors, so what helps the most? More attack, HP, or an extra melee armor? Well, I wouldn't recommend any of the eagles in that matchup, but Mayans take an extra 2 hits from champions, while Aztecs take them out 2 hits faster. At the end of the day, Mayans have the best results thanks to surviving a bit longer, allowing them to sometimes sneak in a bit more damage, while Incas again perform the worst. Their one extra melee armor is not helping them out in this fight much at all. I can't emphasize enough that with equal numbers, this is not a matchup you want to allow, regardless of which civilization you are. But let's flip to another common infantry unit to finish up the barracks, and see how they all do against halberdiers. Now it's not a very natural comparison since they have totally different roles. Halberdiers are a cheap anti-cavalry and generally filler unit that doesn't cost gold, while eagles are very gold intensive and meant to be either anti-archer or raiding units. Still, if they do cross paths, Mayans again come out in the best shape. Incas do about the same as Aztecs, as the halberdiers attack is low enough that one extra melee armor does make an impact. Again, this is admittedly a weird matchup, but the point is Mayans seem to give the best value against low attack melee units. Moving on, the last unit I want to compare them all against is the Paladin. All civilizations eagle warriors have a plus 4 attack bonus against cavalry, and with roughly balanced resources on each side, we can again see that Mayans have the best result, actually winning against Paladins 19 vs 10 with a little under a third of their HP left. Aztecs and Incas do significantly worse, but not really different from each other. Against a mixed army with paladins and a few archers in the background as well, I'd expect Incas to do slightly better than Aztecs, given their extra pierce armor. So in conclusion, head-to-head, -head, Mayans were the clear winner. When it comes to raiding, Mayans give the best value, but Aztecs earn a mention for having a bit of speed and shock value. When it comes to specific units though, Incas do particularly well against archers with 10-12 attack, but other than that, Mayans again perform the best. Their extra HP is just too good, and from a stats perspective, it's pretty clear that Mayans across the board have the best eagle warriors. Of course, in practice, you may not even need them considering they also have the Plumed Archer, another one of the best raiding units in the game. Of the three civilizations, I'd say in actual play, the one that's most important to the civilization's unit composition would actually be the Aztecs, as they otherwise don't have a great raiding unit. Similarly, Eagle Warriors still play a role in the Inca's army as an anti-archer and raiding unit. So having the worst Eagle Warriors in this case doesn't mean it's a useless unit. They're just not quite as OP as the Mayans. But that's all for this one. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.